This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, all. Uh, today we will be discussing about the slide on monkey bugs arteriosclerosis. Uh, what is arteriosclerosis? Is uh, hardening of the arteries. Okay, means the arterial wall thickening, and this is maybe due to loss of elasticity of the arteries. Okay, there are generally four patterns with different clinical and pathological consequences. They are generally arteriosclerosis, monkey bugs arteriosclerosis, fibromuscular intimal hyperplasia, and atherosclerosis. As we already know, atherosclerosis is the formation of fatty plaque on the walls and uh, monkey bugs I am going to discuss right now. Uh, fibromuscular intimal hyperplasia involves the muscular arteries, okay? And arteriosclerosis. Here, small arteries and arterioles are involved. There are two varieties, hyaline and hyperplastic. Most common condition that involves arteriosclerosis, that causes arteriosclerosis is hypertension, okay? See here, uh, this is hyaline arteriosclerosis. You can see isnophilic acellular hyaline material is deposited. Okay. And this is hyperplastic arteriosclerosis. The intimal muscles are hyperplastic, leading to onion peel formation. Okay. Um, imagine you are seeing a cut open onion. Here you can see like that. Okay. Hyperplastic arteriosclerosis. This is necrotizing arteriolitis, hyperplastic arteriosclerosis plus inflammation, necrosis is necrotizing arteriolitis, okay? Coming to Monkberg's arteriosclerosis, okay? It is also called as medial calcific sclerosis, okay? So, the uh, why it is called as medial means tunica media is involved here, okay? So, what are the arteries that are commonly involved here is medium-sized muscular arteries means uh, the extremities and the arteries supplying the genital tract like uterine arteries okay so mostly you are going to see these in uh, over 50 years of age postmenopausal women uh, who has undergone hysterectomy then you can see the monkey bugs arteriosclerosis in the uterine arteries okay this is an incidental finding patient will complain uh, patient will present with no complaints okay it's an incidental finding on x-ray or ultrasound or a, a biopsy. It is just an incidental finding. Okay. So the calcification occurs in tunica media of large and medium-sized muscular arteries, the extremities and the genital tract arteries like uterine artery as I already said. Occurs after the age of 50 years and it is an age-related degenerative process. So we already know. Uh, this is calcific deposit, right? Degenerating arteries degenerating process dying and degenerative tissues the calcification occurs through dystrophic calcification right so here dystrophic calcification occurs and a little or no clinical significance there are no complaints by the patient related primarily to monkey bugs arteriosclerosis okay as there is no occlusion of the lumen okay uh, when you see in atherosclerosis there will be occlusion of the lumen right but in monkey bugs there will be no occlusion of the lumen okay it also occurs in the same pathological states like pseudo xanthoma elasticum and idiopathic arterial class calcification of implants here you can see pipe stem like rigid tubes this is an x-ray of a, a knee joint okay here you can see pipe stem a rigid arteries okay there is calcific deposit in the arterial walls okay so exact pathogenesis is not known and as you, is it usually seen in an older age they, we are thinking as age related cycle, uh, physiological change due to prolonged effect of vasoconstriction maybe due to hypertension okay so microscopically you are going to see deposits of calcium salts in the media without associated inflammatory reaction in necrotizing arteriosclerosis you saw inflammation like neutrophils and all here you can you are not going to see any inflammation okay only the calcium salts are deposited there would be no lumen occlusion okay and the intima and the adventitia are spared it is only involved in the tunica media okay 
coexistent atherosclerotic changes are also seen okay so in a artery uh, uh, in a, any artery, muscular artery you can see if there is uh, monkey bulb atherosclerosis you can also find atherosclerotic changes because both are both are seen in aged people right so how you will see calcium in the histopathology it is refractile okay a cellular granular substance okay so here you can see this is an artery right okay this is intima this is media and this is adventitia right here the intima is normal endothelial lining you can see here endothelial lining it is all normal this is adventitia which is also normal here you can see in mom in media there are a refractile material which is something deposited okay this is nothing but calcium calcium salts okay so this refractile material in the media is nothing but calcium so this is monkey bug sclerosis okay see here refractile material okay a cellular a cellular refractory material okay refractile material you can see this is the intimal lining okay which here these are the endothelial cells okay this is media which is involved by the calcium okay dystrophic calcification takes place here okay and there won't be any inflammation okay see uh, these are from our uh, slides you can see here so these are all arteries okay in the lower these are all arteries and you can see in the media there are dystrophic calcific deposits see here i think you can appreciate here am i clear see in this also you can see these are the two arteries involved by monkey bulb sclerosis okay this is the tunica media here you can see dystrophic calcification okay these are all from our slides okay uh, what you are going to see in the microscopy when you have when you come to the department okay so thank you so much i hope you got this right okay there won't be any inflammation there won't be no uh, any occlusion of the lumen tunica media is involved dystrophic calcification of the tunica media and no complaints okay it has no clinical significance it is only an incidental finding 50 years of age prolonged vasoconstriction hypertension may be a cause okay mostly arteries involving arteries supplying the genital organs like uterus okay and that's it these are the points you need to remember it is a type of arteriosclerosis okay other types of arteriosclerosis are see athero arteriosclerosis highland hyperplastic monkey bugs arteriosclerosis fibromuscular intimal hyperplasia and atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is otherwise a big chapter and you it will be discussed in the theory classes okay and highland hyperplastic are related to hypertension okay and small arteries are involved in arteriosclerosis monkey bugs medium and muscular size muscular arteries are involved okay this is highland arteriosclerosis highland material is deposited and this is hyperproliferative hyperplastic atherosclerosis proliferation of the smooth muscle bundles and this is necrotizing arteriosclerosis there will be necrosis okay monkey bugs as we already discussed in the x-ray you will see uh, pipe rigid tubes okay Gener uh, on palpation you are going to see hard vessels okay generally on palpation what we see is artery somewhat uh, there will occlusion right on pressure but on these monkey bugs there won't be occlusion okay you can see uh, uh, stone heart vessels okay so pipe stem on the x-ray you are going to see pipe stem rigid tubes okay 
as there won't be any occlusion of the arteries, any occlusion of the lumen, there will be no symptoms to the patient. Okay. Here you can see the pipe stem uh, rigid tubes. A dystrophic calcification is seen in here. You can see the dystrophic calcific deposits in the tunica media. No inflammation, lumen is normal, and intima and adventitia are normal. See here, refractile material is seen. A cellular, retractile, granular, sometimes base of mostly base of in nature. Here you can see it's not that's not a problem. So, okay, refractile material, dystrophic as okay. Here you can see the arteries that are involved. This is the low power 10x, and this is 40x high power. You can see the media involved with. Um, students, only enter your uh, roll numbers, not your names in the chat box for your attendance. If you enter your names, it won't be considered, okay? Enter only your roll numbers. Names are not considered. <clears throat> 